Hello everybody. In this video, I'm going to show you how to simplify the system of linear equations. And these equations might look familiar. This one in particular came from my Kirchhoff current law and this one from my Kirchhoff voltage law. We're going to go ahead and simplify these equations into standard form using our TI-84 calculator. The two tools I'm going to be using is called Kasimba and Pineapple Cas, or PCAS for short. These tools do not come with the calculator stock. You will have to install it from GitHub and from other repositories. So I'm going to go ahead and link all of those tools and the installation steps inside the description of this video. So with that being said, let's get started. I'm going to just go give Kasimba a dry run. And as you can see, Kasimba complains saying that we need to fill the answer variable first. Now, what that means is that we actually need to type in this equation into our calculator. Well, I guess it's an expression since we don't put the equal zero. So let's go ahead and type in this expression into the calculator. Right away, we bump into a problem because there are no subscripts in the calculator. So instead, for V1, we're going to type in A, and for V2, we're going to type in B, and so on and so forth. Same thing goes on for the currents, I2, I1, and I3, etc. We're just going to go ahead and follow that convention. So we're first going to start off by typing in the quotation marks and I'll show you why in just a minute. So let's go ahead and now enter the entire equation slash expression into the calculator. All right, now that we've entered everything into the calculator, I'm going to go ahead and just leave it like this. We don't need to put closing parentheses or closing quotation marks. We can just leave it like this. And now we're going to go ahead and run Kasimba. Now, Kasimba can only read strings from this line. You'll see it in the documentation in the description of this video. I'm going to link it. But you'll see that it can only read strings. So this is a valid instruction for Kasimba. It's just reading it from the answer. And once we run it, it's actually going to be placing the answer inside Y2. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and right away run PCAS. Now, when we run PCAS, we need to tweak a few things. We're going to go ahead and change the input into line Y2 and change the output into line Y1. You're going to have to press the enter key a few times in order for that to happen. As you can see, there we go. Now we're going to go down and we're going to go right so that we can uncheck all of these checkboxes, which are not really necessary because they are pretty useful, but for our purposes, not really. They're just going to slow down our calculator a little bit. Hit simplify, and it's going to take a few seconds. And as you can see, it finally says success. To exit, we press clear two times or whatever, and it exits. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go and hit Y equals, and you can see that it's basically simplified the entire thing and left it in nearly standard form right off the bat. So that worked beautifully. Let's go ahead and try a different one. Let's go ahead and try this line over here. This equation is a little bit scary since there's a bunch of nested parentheses and was a little bit annoying when the animation was playing to actually catch on what was going on because there were so many things going on and combining like terms. Let's go ahead and use a calculator to help us with doing that. Again, we're going to start off by typing in the parentheses and I3 is going to be C, etc. So just same old rules like earlier. And yep, we're just going to go ahead and type in this really long equation. And here goes the nested parentheses. I'm just going to be careful not to make a mistake here because that's probably going to be a little bit annoying. All right, and there we go. We've typed up everything. All right, so now again, we're just going to hit enter. And then we're going to go ahead and run Kasimba. When we run Kasimba, it takes a few seconds. It's done. We're just going to go ahead and go here. And believe it or not, it's actually left it all in standard form right off the bat already. Brilliant. All right, so now that we've seen the powers of PCAS and Kasimba, let's go ahead and install it. First, in order to install these applications, we're going to need to install TI Connect CE software. And this is how we install it. First, we're going to navigate to this page, and all of these links will be put in the description of this video. We're going to install TI Connect CE, and we're just going to let that install. And while that's happening, we're going to go to this page, and we're going to install this file, clibs.axg. 
And while that installing, we're going to go to this and install pcast.axp. All of these links will be put in the description of this video, so don't worry, because I'm going a little bit fast. Over here, we go to TI Planet, and we install Kasimba by clicking on this link. Do not click on the link download over here. This will download a zip file. Uh, it's just going to give an extra step. So instead, we're just going to go ahead and download this. All right, now that we have all the files, now we can just go ahead and open the directory for the downloads folder. And we're just going to go ahead and run the .msi file. Just accept everything. You've done this a billion times. You know how to install software. So we're just going to go open this little thing over here that asks us for permission. We're going to go on yes. And sometimes it'll ask you to install a driver. Click on yes to install the driver. Sometimes it won't. You know how to install it. Uh, but this is just a basic tutorial on how to get TI Connect CE. Um, so yeah, we're just going to wait for it to install. And there we go. Now it's done. So now we're going to go ahead and copy all of these and we're just going to go ahead and open the software. So let's go ahead and open it by going to the main menu or your desktop and clicking on TI Connect CE. Then I'm going to just have this file explorer open on the side. And we're just going to give it a little bit of time. All right, and so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and click on all of these three and we're going to drag and drop all of them into here. Now, it's going to say that it wants to put it in both in RAM and Archive. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to change all of them from RAM into Archive. This way it prevents your calculator from accidentally running out of memory and then it'll just reset and lose all your work. So just to prevent that from happening, put everything into Archive. And then we're going to go ahead and click on Send. Now the calculator is taking its time to receive all the files and there we go. Now we're done. And that's it. You now have the software on your calculator. You can press program and you'll see that indeed it does have the softwares installed. I hope that you found this video helpful and I will see you in the next one.